Revolution on Revolution Radio at freedomslips.com. I'm your host, One I Am, and on my right hand is Debbie. Debbie? She's absent today. She's absent today. Last week, it was your show. Right. This week, I'm letting him be by himself. This week, you're going to see how I do by myself, huh? Yeah. So I got to talk to the audience, basically. <laughs> well, that's good. I like to talk to the audience. Uh, this is Revolution Radio, uh, freedomslips.com, listener-supported radio, so we appreciate it when you hit that donate button and give a dollar, a couple bucks, a hundred dollars, uh, as much as you can to keep this station on and giving you good radio. Uh, tonight's topic, we're going to talk about illegal immigration. Uh, you know, uh, the majority of it seems to be about Mexicans, <laughs> uh, coming over f from Mexico, you know, uh, the southern border. Although illegal immigration could be taking place on the northern border as well. But generally, you're speaking about, uh, you know, Latinos, Mexicans. You know, sneaking over here, uh, taking our jobs and, uh, basically driving the, the wage down by working for little or nothing, you know, in the country. And, uh, I mean, I guess we could go through all the things that, uh, they usually say about the Latinos and the Mexicans and et cetera. You know, they were, uh, you know, taking, taking the jobs and, uh, going to schools for free and uh just a number of things that they're uh putting on the latinos and everything and the mexicans and and making it like like 11 million mexicans snuck over here in the country and uh set up camp you know whole communities and uh cities and towns and, you know, started uh, working like I guess there's over seven million of them that are employed in the United States illegals. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just like some kind of way uh, because of the propaganda that uh, and the spin that the people have campaigns and et cetera have put on the illegal immigration issue. You know, a lot of Americans just think that, you know, the Mexicans like snuck over here, like 11 million Mexicans just snuck over here across the border. You know, even though you got, uh, you know, Border Patrol agents up and down the border, you got fences and you have uh, even now they got drones uh, working the border. The same kind that uh, Obama has killing uh uh, you know, uh, what they call them terrorists. Yeah. Yeah. The same, the same, uh, drones are flying the, the, uh, Southern border now. Uh, and, uh, you know, taking pictures and everything right now of, uh, Mexicans headed this way. And, uh, right now I don't think they're armed. 
But uh, you never know what's going to happen in the future as far as those drones and et cetera go. You know, they may just uh, start shooting at the Mexicans sooner or later. I don't know. But uh, I just want to cover the uh, illegal immigration issue from a, a logical and reasonable standpoint instead of from the propaganda and everything that's been put out on the Mexicans and Latinos and et cetera. Uh, the Obama campaign, uh, he uh, promised the Latinos and the Mexicans quite a bit when he was running in 2007, you know, about straightening out the immigration uh, issue and giving them some kind of uh, way to citizenship in the United States. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, some of his campaign promises he uh, wanted to create secure borders. That was one. Obama wants to preserve the integrity of our borders. He supports additional personnel, infrastructure, and technology on the border and at our ports of entry. Okay. So uh, he does support that. You know, he's added more border, border patrol agents. Uh, I think they did do some fencing uh, under the Obama administration. And uh, like I said, he's got drones uh, flying the borders, the southern borders now. And, and that's new technology. And I'm telling you, that's costing like millions of dollars uh, to run those drones. They say that even the camera on one of those drones is uh, over $2 million just for the camera. You know, these things can sit at 19,000 feet, you know, 20,000 feet and read the date on a penny on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And, uh, you know, they're watching you, but you don't know why you down there on the ground and et cetera, trying to get to America. But uh, anyway, he wanted to also improve our immigration system. Obama believes we must fix the dysfunctional immigration bureaucracy and increase the number of legal immigrants to keep families together and meet the demand for jobs that employers cannot fill. Right. So that was part of his uh, campaign promises. You know, he wanted to uh, increase the number of legal immigrants, you know, and uh, keep families together and uh, meet the demand for jobs that employers cannot fill because Americans don't want to work the jobs that a lot of the Mexicans do work uh, that doesn't pay anything, that has no benefits, and uh, basically is, is back-breaking work, you know, that you get, you get little or nothing out of it. So uh, you're pretty much a slave once you take one of those jobs uh, to, the, to corporate interests. So... Uh, he's going to fix that dysfunctional immigration bureaucracy, and uh, but of course uh, we can. I'm, I'm going to get to this other story where Obama broke a record uh, putting Latinos out of the country uh, this year. As a matter of fact, he's uh, put out nearly four hundred thousand uh, Latinos this year alone. You know, he broke he broke everybody else's record putting Latinos out while he's talking about uh, finding a way for them to stay at the same time. Okay. And he says he wants to remove the incentives to enter illegally. Obama will remove incentives to enter the country illegally by cracking down on employers who hire undocumented immigrants. Okay which uh, that's not really uh, going to remove any incentives for the uh, Mexicans to come here illegally or anything by cracking down on employers. You know, uh, the employers basically have crossed the Mexican border. Uh, they've been given free reign to go across the Mexican border and set up shop, you know, and uh, work the Mexicans for uh, like three fifty a day or, or less you know, and uh, 
I'm talking about thousands of companies, uh, American companies and uh, Canadian companies and et cetera, with NAFTA and free trade and everything, have went to Mexico and set up camp, you know, and uh, they are hiring Mexicans at, at those rates, like 350 a day or less, and uh, no bennies, uh, uh, no, no, uh, OSHA type, uh, uh, occupational safety type stuff at all. And, uh, you know, they work in the Mexicans, uh, like slaves, you know, basically Mexico has been turned into a slave country, you know, where you used to have slave states in the South and then, you know, certain Negroes and stuff, you know, would run, you know, ahead up North. You know, like I'm getting away from this. I'm getting out of here. I'm going for a better life, some freedom for my family and this, that, and the other. I come back for you, baby, but I got to go north. No. Uh, now it's the whole country of Mexico that's been turned into a slave country. And yeah, the Mexicans are heading north just like the Negroes did. Uh, they're coming to, to find some, some, uh, freedom and some uh some better wages and a better lifestyle than uh what they can get in mexico you know and we'll get into that a little deeper in a minute but uh let me finish here uh obama says he wants to bring people out of the shadows he supports a system that allows undocumented immigrants who are in good standing to pay a fine learn English and go to the back of the line for the opportunity to become citizens. You know, he says he supports that system, but uh, I don't see where he's done anything to bring it about as far as paying a fine and learning English and uh, going to the back of the immigration line, which is what, like a, maybe a 10 year line. And then, and then there's all kinds of stipulations and red tape on who can be an immigrant to the United States. Uh, number one, you have to have bank accounts in Mexico and everything, and you have to uh, have property over there and look like you want to go back in order to even uh, be an immigrant here. Well, I don't know, because they're saying that they're, I mean, okay, yeah, Mexicans are a big part of the immigration problems here, but um if you go to certain countries, there's a bigger part of um, immigrants there. Like in Miami, it's the Haitians and in and, um, and the Cubans and the Puerto Ricans and the people for Domin Dominican Republic. So I mean, I mean, I think that is not just uh, why are they just targeting the Mexicans? Because when you go to Miami, very few people down there really speak native English. When you go to Florida, period, it's just my, it's just immigrant country. Uh -huh. So I'm not understanding why are they just targeting the Mexicans? Well, many of the immigrants in Florida are uh, Latino and Mexican. As a matter of fact, that's part of the country where a lot of them go. Uh, Florida, they go to Texas and, uh, you know, the southern states down there. But most of the ones that are in Florida... And all these other places that are working all these jobs down there, those are undocumented in, in immigrants as well. Yeah, exactly. They are undocumented. But they're not doing anything like bothering them. They're only Mexic basically messing with the Mexicans. Because those people were down there taking jobs out of white and black people's mouths. Because well, you know they work the hotels. They get paid $2, probably be a dollar. And they probably don't have a green card either. Well, Miami is like Cuban town. You know, they, they pretty much run, you know, the hotels and the little uh, economic system down there. I mean, as far as the work goes and all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, Big Brother got it going on down there in Miami, South Beach and all that. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they kind of like hotel owners and uh, restaurant owners and they run the gyms and et cetera down there in uh the cubans and stuff like that and you know the ones that came here 